They want the devil to make it level. The New York-based Satanic Temple hopes to erect a seven-foot-tall Satan statue outside the Oklahoma State Capitol uh, after a Ten Commandments monument was placed there in 2012. As you can see, children will be able to enjoy the statue because we were all wondering about that. <laughs> and uh, a spokesman notes that it will, quote, have a functional purpose, which is necessary, as a chair where people of all ages may sit on the lap of Satan, which is actually... What do you call that? Is that an anagram for Santa? So the lap is kind of consistent. For inspiration and contemplation. The group says that once the... What's an... Is that, yeah, it's an anagram. Uh, that once the Oklahoma legislature allowed the privately funded Ted Commandments monument, that opened the door for my Lord and Savior, I mean the Antichrist, to enter the picture. <laughs> As someone who has sat on the lap of Satan before <laughs> and told him my most... I, 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 can't, I don't even want to touch this one. This yeah. one is scary. Have you been to Oklahoma? But I, get, I don't think it's going to go over well there. No. However, though, you know, this is the problem, Andy, because, you know, they raised 20 grand to build the statue, yep. which came from you. Uh, you support this, uh, of course, right? <laughs> I, was just gonna, I wanted to see how much further that was going to go. I, I sensed you were floundering there at the yeah. end. No, I, I was thinking about going. something else. Um, now, in a story we brought you a few weeks ago, a New York-based satanic group wants to put a Satan statue on the grounds of the Oklahoma State Capitol, and it has now unveiled drawings of the proposal. So, here it is. The statue features a bearded, goat-headed demon sitting on a throne with smiling kids next to it. The Satanic Temple insists it should be allowed to stand next to the Ten Commandments monument that's been at the Oklahoma State Capitol since 2012. David Silverman is the president of the American Atheist, Bill Donahue, the president of the Catholic League, and Rabbi Shmuley Botek is the founder of This World, The Values Network. Rabbi, we should have sat you in between Bill and David today. I think <laughs> they may they, I I know, they, they may go at it, but I know you have a strong spirit. And I'm going to start with you on what some people deem as a ridiculous move by this satanic group to put up this monument. Your thoughts? First of all, what did goats ever do? I don't know why they're having to suffer. There have been many statues of Satan. This is nothing new. Uh, we've had sta statues of Mao Zedong, of Stalin, all these devils who were guilty of genocide, tens of millions of people. If these Satan worshippers want to take their statue to the logical conclusion, let them make it a real Satan statue. There should be child sacrifice. There should be people being disemboweled. They should show what evil is. And that would actually highlight what religion is, the Ten Commandments, which is don't, you know, don't steal, don't be envious, don't covet. In fact, the Ten Commandments, I'm so weirded out by why atheists have a problem with it. Well, only three out of the ten you have an objection to. Surely you believe that people shouldn't commit adultery, Dave. You believe that people should have a day off like a Sabbath with the family. You believe that we shouldn't be jealous well, and envious. Well, let's find out. David, do you? Shmuley, the, the first commandment is, I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. In context, the penalty for disobeying that commandment is death by stoning. It's hate what speech. What about the other seven? Are you uh, okay with the other seven? I am no. Uh, no so, so let me finish. Seven. Let me finish. No graven images. He won't have that. But that's the, the other penalty seven. for the No, no, you need to know the Ten Commandments. Uh, uh oh. Uh, Bill, you're I being blamed and not saying anything. You have a problem with stealing. Uh, number three. You have a problem with stealing? No. Stealing isn't original to the Ten Commandments. Neither is murder. What are you neither talking about? Exodus. Sorry. Well, listen, Exodus all right. is the one thing I do know is the Bible a little bit. You don't know that the Bible did steal most of those things. Yes, I will. The rabbi brings up a great point about why you would be against any of them. But let's get back to this satanic thing. Bill, is this a total affront in the face? of Christianity to put up this bearded goat with, by the way, smiling kids. And just for your own fun as well, it has a functional purpose. Apparently you can sit on this particular thing and look up into the face of the bearded goat. Well, look, it's not a matter of opinion. The, the people behind this, the proponents, will admit what, what their purpose is anyhow. Uh, look, my religion, Christianity, is about love. This is about evil, okay? They don't deny it. And so if you take a look at the great heroes of Satanism, you look at Charles Manson, the mass murderer, who said, I am the devil. Adam Lanza, who killed those 20 innocent kids in Newtown, said that he was also the devil. Jimmy Savo, the BBC a child rapist, said that he was the devil, had his black masses, so to speak. So I think what the Catholic schools should do, I'd also recommend it for the public schools, but in the Catholic schools, they should teach Satanism. But in the Catholic schools, they should teach Satanism. And they should go through Manson and Lanza and Jimmy Savile and others and say, this is exactly what you get once you follow this philosophy. Finally, a satanic group has unveiled designs for a seven-foot-tall goat-headed deity at the Oklahoma State Capitol. The New York-based Satanic Temple released an artist rendering of the monument and also formally submitted an application to a panel that oversees the Capitol's grounds. The sat Satanic Temple says Oklahoma's decision to put a Ten Commandments monument at the Capitol opened the door for its statue.
New development tonight in the satanic group's fight to erect a monument to the devil at our state capitol. Once this monument to the Ten Commandments was erected on the grounds of the capitol, other groups said they too had a right to place a monument on the public property. Channel 4's Courtney Francisco has been digging into it. She joins us live. Courtney? The statue will be a symbol of Satan as a goat. It's designed for children to sit on it, take pictures with it, and the group wants it to go right here outside the state capitol, right next to the Ten Commandments monument. Finally revealed, a goat figure with children at its feet. The monument the Satanic Temple hopes will soon sit at the state capitol. We decided to go with that because it is uh, a fairly traditional um, character. It also offers a lap that uh, visitors can come to sit on, have their picture taken with. The devil's image sitting beside the Ten Commandments. It's an odd pair, but Satanic Temple spokesperson Lucian Grief says the monuments together represent religious freedom. It, it absolutely is of historic value. Not only would a Satanic monument send a clear and distinct message that America respects plurality, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, but it would also stand as a historical marker commemorating scapegoats, the marginalized, and the demonized minority, the unjustly outcast. A group has unveiled designs for a seven-foot-tall statue of Satan that it wants at the Oklahoma State Capitol. The New York-based Satanic Temple says if Oklahoma can put a Ten Commandments statue on the Capitol grounds, they should be able to put their statue on the grounds as well. Katie, good morning. And that statue they want put right next to the Ten Commandments here at the state capitol. And I want to show you what this is going to look like. Take a look here. It's a seven foot tall goat headed demon sitting on a throne with two children next to it. The group Satanic Temple says it's formally submitted its application and they are moving forward with plans even though a state commission's put a moratorium on new requests. The commission says it wants to wait until a lawsuit over the Ten Commandments monument is settled. And right now that Ten Commandments monument is on display here at the state capitol. Reporting live at the capitol, I'm Rob Hughes, KOCO 5 News. A holy war of words and statues in Oklahoma as a New York-based satanic temple has a design for a monument the church wants to put on the state capitol grounds right next to a Ten Commandments monument. The statue depicts a demonic goat figure with statues of children at its feet would also be designed for people to sit on. Needless to say, this idea isn't sitting well with lawmakers. What will disqualify them has really nothing to do with Satan as such. It's that it has no historical significance for the state of Oklahoma. The only reason why the Ten Commandments qualified is because at the Capitol what we do is we make laws. We are lawmakers. Well, one of the earliest laws that we have are the Ten Commandments. So therefore, it has historical significance. It, it absolutely is of historic value. Not only would a satanic monument send a clear and distinct message that America respects plurality, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, but it would also stand as a historical marker commemorating scapegoats, the marginalized, and the demonized minority, the unjustly outcast. Well, the monument still has to pass through a preservation committee, which has a moratorium on improving new monuments following a lawsuit filed by the ACLU. The Satanic Temple maintains that the Oklahoma legislature's decision to authorize a privately funded Ten Commandments monument at the Capitol opened the door for its statue.